Welcome to AMK Drives and Controls. My name is Hannah Vitopil and I'm the Head of Business Development and Marketing. And I'm Larry Culpepper, the Sales Manager. AMK is a manufacturer of servo motors, servo drives and control systems. We manufacture both centralized servo systems and decentralized servo systems. Centralized traditional systems are designed to be mounted in an electrical cabinet and the power and feedback cables for the motor are routed from the units in the cabinet to the motors. Decentralized systems are designed to be mounted on the machine, either on the motor or in very close proximity to it. These units reduce cabling and electrical panel requirements. On this video, we will be demonstrating how to easily start up a servo system and controller with our IPEX Pro software. We will be utilizing our decentralized solution for this demonstration. However, startup is the same on both platforms. We are using our A5 controller with integrated 7-inch HMI. This controller performs 200,000 instructions per millisecond and is used for both the machine logic and motion control. The EtherCAD from the A5 is connected to the first servo drive, which is an IC5 decentralized servo with AC voltage input. The IC produces the DC bus voltage for use internally as well as for providing power for other units such as this IX servo drive. The EtherCAD is daisy chained from unit to unit. The motors we are using are DT type synchronous servo motors with single turn absolute encoders. Now to the software. AMK utilizes Codasys programming software merged with our own parameterization software. This allows AMK to communicate between the two platforms and change settings on both levels simultaneously. This translates to less engineering time configuring your system. First we start with a clean connected system on the EtherCAT network. In this view only the AMK Apex software is active. Now we go online. The software, which is connected through the Ethernet IP port, reads the units that are active on the EtherCAT network. In this example, we see the units previously shown. The A5 controller, the IC servo drive, the IX servo drive, and the two servo motors. If this structure is complete, we press the Accept button. You will also notice that the areas highlighted in yellow provide helpful tips along the way. This moves the structure into the navigation tree. The magenta color indicates that the units are actively communicating on the EtherCAT network. At this point you have the components in the software with all the base parameters set. Now we are ready to begin the PLC portion of the configuration. Start by clicking on the PLC symbol in the navigation tree. Choose the Create PLC and name as needed. This will open the Codasys software and show a window that contains the components that will be imported into your program along with the global structure. Two separate program structures will be configured in the program. First is the PLC program. This is the main program and runs asynchronously. Second is the FPLC program. This is a synchronous portion of the program with a set cycle time. Now we import our macros needed for our project. For a simple demo program, we will only use the basic and standard levels. Next, we configure our global structure for our controller and for our drives. This is done in the Resources tab under Global Variables. We name and set up the structure for the standard control and the standard axis. Structure is entered by using the Input Assistant to create the link between the named entries and the library function or by manual entry. With the global structure complete, we can go to the PLC program and begin entering our function blocks. In this example, we will have one function block for control 
and two function blocks for the axis. These blocks are from AMK's AFL libraries and will be entered automatically. All of the logic function is available for use. For our example, we will only be using the minimum. We will be enabling the function blocks with the value true and setting the link between the physical device and the program. FB standard control allows the monitoring of status bits and messages from the controller as well as diagnostic messages. FB standard access allows for control of all the standard functions of the servo drive including homing, positioning, speed control, and jogging. Also it configures all of the handshake bits as well as real-time information for actual position, torque, and speed. Next we need to write some code in the synchronous portion of the program. This is for handling of synchronized information such as actual position. Open the Visualizations tab. We will create a few buttons for running our program. Open the PLC Visualization and we start with just a few buttons. First, create a circle. Fill the configuration for text, input, color changes, and color scheme. We will have this circle enable the drive and change colors when the drive is enabled. Our other visualization is created in the same manner. We are now finished with the programming. All that is needed now is to configure all of the messages for the drives and HMI. This is accomplished by choosing Configuration Create from the Configuration menu. This sets up all communications between the controller and the drives, as well as between the controller and the HMI. Then the program will be checked for errors, compiled, and loaded in the PLC. Now we test our small program. Press the Enable for both drives. The color should change when enabled. Also, the LEDs on the units should change from steady state to blinking. Next, press the Set Speed block and enter desired speed. Then press the Run button for each drive. Both motors are now running in speed control with the value entered. The software contains similar libraries for more complex functions such as Print Mark Control, Electronic Line Shaft, Virtual Master and many more. These functions are utilized in the same manner to reduce the engineering time for your project. We hope that this video has been informative and helpful. Please contact AMK Drives and Controls for all your automation needs. Thank you.